This is BZH, coming here from Big Zach's house. Finally picked up a GoPro here for a session. I'm gonna do an unboxing video for you guys. All right, it's unboxed. Thank you guys for watching. All right, so I was just kidding. The unboxing's not over yet. So finally gonna take this GoPro out of here. First thing I'm gonna do is take the, the new GoPro right off here in the front. We'll get everything out that's in here. So the first thing we have is, looks like the safety information, who gives a shit about that. Our stickers, I only put them on my hockey helmet. Our quick start guide, eh, who cares about that either. Let's take all the goodies out from in here. Some adhesive mounts, pretty cool to have. I'm using them playing hockey. We have our little charger cable here, our case. So, you know, we're not gonna use this one that it came on the box, it's just there. So this is our little case here. Dump the rest out. A couple of different looking um, connector mounts here. Definitely a little bit heavier than, you know, previous models, so I like that. Interested to see if I can use these with previous GoPro models. I really do like this. This is actually my favorite part about this camera so far. I can't say I'm really too excited to start using this camera, considering it's dropped in price, you know, from $400 to $200 in such a short period of time. You know, that's the reason why I bought the camera. It's finally so cheap that it makes it worthwhile to buy. You know, but we're definitely gonna play around with this thing. You know, it's just supposed to be GoPro's lightest and smallest camera ever. And it's definitely the smallest camera ever. I mean, and it feels like the lightest camera ever. It definitely looks a lot different. It's in the cube form. Um, we have, you know, the sounds gonna come out of the front here. You know, just uh, when you wanna start recording, just press the button, camera turns on, starts recording right away. When you wanna stop, just press it, the camera turns off right away. So no on off or anything. And as you've noticed, you can't play with any of the settings on this camera, it's just on off. Everything has to be done through a remote, so your phone or you know one of the GoPro wireless remotes. And then to charge it, there's this little compartment on the side here. You're gonna charge your camera here, and you're also gonna put your micro SD. And then when you wanna set up the Wi-Fi, you should be able to just scan your phone with this, um, this little bar right here. Overall, pretty neat looking camera. I'm, you know, a little bit impressed with it. You know, I know I don't sound, I'm not too excited to start using the camera. I bash it a lot in previous videos, but we're gonna see. Maybe GoPro can prove me wrong. Definitely, they've reduced the price to make it a worthwhile buy. So we'll see. You know, we'll put it in this new case here. We'll go. We'll see what it's like. Let me know what you guys think, you know, if there's anything that you want me to test this or compare it against. I'm definitely going to throw it up against the, you know, my Sony action cam, my 4K camera. You know, you may think that it's not a fair comparison. I really do think it's going to be a fair comparison. All things considered, this camera was released a few months ago at a $400 price range and Sony was released at 500 bucks. So it should be, you know, from a price point when it first came out, it should be a compa good comparison. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely leave some comments. Let me know what you think about the video, what you want me to compare with, what kind of testing you want me to do. You know, this camera is a lot smaller than all other GoPros. So it's supposed to be used in different ways. That's the whole hype of it. It's supposed to be able to put it in places that previous models could not be placed in. So thank you guys for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.